I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Today we're gonna show you how to make strawberry ice cream. The best strawberry ice cream around, bro. Oh, I'm Squidward. <laughs> Today, we're doing a recipe for a strawberry ice cream with a strawberry balsamic swirl. We're gonna show you how to make strawberry ice cream from scratch and how to make a strawberry balsamic reduction. Before we dive in, we're going to list all the tools, utensils, and bowls you are going to need to make both the strawberry ice cream recipe as well as the strawberry balsamic swirl. One or two wire whisks, a medium to large stock pot, a sharp knife, a large mixing bowl, a ladle and a stirring spoon, a fine mesh strainer, a foil lined baking sheet, a cooling rack, a candy or digital thermometer, an immersion blender, a bowl or a bucket to store your finished ice cream base, a quality ice cream maker of your choice. The way we create our ice cream base is a method called a creme anglaise ice cream base. It's basically a custard ice cream base with the primary ingredients of heavy cream, milk, sugar, and the most important part in our eyes, egg yolks and lots of them. Next we're going to teach you how to set up your workspaces into stations and where you'll need which items for each step of the process. This will help you stay organized instead of fumbling for items you need during time sensitive steps of cooking your ice cream base. Station number one will be your cooking station. Here you will need your stove top, your saucepan or pot for cooking the base, a whisk, and a good cooking thermometer. Always have hand towels or napkins ready in case of spills and splatters. Ice cream is a messy process in the kitchen. Station number two is your tempering station. You're going to need a bowl for the yolks, a whisk, a ladle, and a cooling rack to set your hot pot on during the process. Have towels ready as speediness takes priority over drips and splatters. Station number three is your flavoring station. This is where you will combine your creme anglaise ice cream base with whatever flavors that make up your ice cream. Next we're going to show you both how to make strawberry ice cream as well as the strawberry balsamic swirl using the following key ingredients. Heavy whipping cream, whole milk, granulated sugar, egg yolks, cream cheese, sea salt, vanilla extract, fresh strawberries, lemon juice, corn syrup, and balsamic vinegar. At your flavor combining station, begin slicing your plain cream cheese into thin slices. Cream cheese has a higher fat content, and since fat repels water, it makes it an excellent addition to ice cream bases to help prevent later ice crystal formation, which can give the final frozen product an off-putting mouthfeel. It also adds a full-bodied flavor in small amounts that gives our ice cream a unique taste that many others don't have. Begin arranging your room temperature cream cheese slices in a layer along the bottom of your mixing bowl or bucket that you've set aside for your ice cream base. You can now set this aside for a bit. Before we begin with our creme anglaise ice cream base, let's prep the strawberries for strawberry ice cream. We're going to use a technique called maceration. Macerating the strawberries is a process where we combine the strawberries with white, granulated sugar to draw the water content out of the fruit. This avoids ice crystal formation in fruit-based ice creams that can leave an unpleasant and not creamy texture and mouthfeel in your ice cream. Simply hull and quarter your strawberries and toss them in a bowl with about a cup of sugar. You can let this process take place as long as overnight, but we recommend at least two hours. After which, the water is drawn from your strawberries and the remaining syrup can be used in your ice cream base. Next, heat your oven to 350 degrees and we are going to roast the macerated strawberries for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is going to draw even more water content out of the strawberries and the syrup, leaving a sweet yet bright concentrated flavor ready to mix into your base without all of the water that just blending raw berries would have added. Now we're going to begin combining our ingredients for the creme anglaise ice cream base. We'll start with the basis for all best ice cream recipes, which is heavy whipping cream. Always try to use the highest fat content possible, which is usually around 35 to 40% milk fat. And next up, 
is either your whole milk or your half and half. Whichever you choose, just try to make sure you go with a ratio of two parts heavy cream to one part whole milk for maximum creaminess and butterfat content is your end result. Next, regular white granulated sugar is always your best bet for flavor. Heavy metal ice cream prides itself on focusing on the flavor of our ice cream rather than extreme sugary sweetness, so we tend to use less than the chains. Adjust this to your own tastes. The fourth component of your creme anglaise custard ice cream base is the most important behind the cream itself, the egg yolks. Yolks add a richness and a smoothness to ice cream texture that can't be touched by other ice cream cooking methods. In past videos, you've seen that we usually use 12 yolks per quart of ice cream that we make. However, when it comes to fruit flavors, yolks can tend to mask brighter flavors like strawberries. So for this recipe, we've cut back to half or six yolks per quart to let the berry flavor really sing through the mix. You'll notice we don't pre-mix the sugar and the egg yolks. Sugar is hygroscopic and will pull the water out of the eggs, causing the egg proteins to clump, creating lumps in your mixture no matter how well you whisk. Instead, add the sugar to the milk and cream. We allow the sugar granules a few minutes to plump and fill with the dairy before applying heat for maximum flavor. We realize 90% of ice cream recipes do this differently, but we err on the side of caution and quality and allow the creme anglaise base to dissolve our sugar first. In the end, is one really better than the other? Probably not taste-wise, but it works for us. Cook the mixture gently to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit using your candy or digital thermometer to track the progress, stirring constantly. At this point, you will remove your pot from the heat and transfer over to your tempering station. Reaching 160 degrees will destroy salmonella if present. It will also set the mix to a slightly thicker consistency, making it ready to temper into your egg yolks. Temper your egg yolks by quickly ladling a small ladle of hot dairy base into the bowl of yolks one at a time, constantly whisking the entire time. Basically, if you can remember rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time as a kid, then you can temper egg yolk successfully. The trick is to keep the whisk moving the entire time without stopping. Stopping can cause the hot dairy mixture to scorch the protein molecules, resulting in curdled yolks. And if you're wondering, yes, that basically means scrambled eggs. We do not want scrambled eggs in our ice cream, needless to say. This may seem like a super stressful process, but I assure you after a while it becomes second nature. Take a breath and remember above all else, keep that whisk moving. Once you get to a one-to-one -one ratio of yolks to dairy mixture, you will now have a tempered custard that is safe to pour back into your sauce pot. Now that we've brought our yolks up to temperature, we're going to transfer them back to the pot. Quickly and firmly grasp your bowl by both sides and pour as a steady stream back into your pot. But wait, let's go back and watch that in slow-mo. See the lip of that bowl? That's right, no lumps, chunks, or scrambles. You're looking for a nice, smooth waterfall of delicious custard, just like this one. Even though we use yolks that are pre-pasteurized and none of our dairy is raw to begin with, cooking everything together until it is all brought up to beyond 160 degrees assures safety and a significantly smaller chance of bacteria or foodborne illnesses. Translation, yay for not killing people. You're going to transfer your mixture back to the stovetop. We're going to bring the mixture back up in temperature, this time to a sweet spot of somewhere between 168 and 172 degrees. This not only makes sure your yolks are brought beyond a safe 160 degrees, but it forms a thicker, creamier consistency of your base, resulting in better ice cream. Try your best to never go above 172 degrees, as this will start to degrade flavor in your ice cream base. Now that your creme anglaise base is complete, you're going to pour it over the cream cheese slices we prepared in our mixing bowl or bucket earlier. The hot ice cream base will begin softening the room temperature cream cheese even further, preparing it for immersion blending. But before that, we are going to take our semi-cold roasted strawberries and syrup and carefully pour them into the same mix. We're going to let all of this sit in the hot base for about five minutes before we start to blend. After five minutes, grab your immersion blender and start with the mouth of the blender over the large chunks of cream cheese and strawberries, working everything down into smaller, more manageable chunks, until finally everything is good and blended together. 
While the seeds will not be strained out, we will take the entire mix down to a very even, smooth blend with no detectable chunks. Remember that this is a natural strawberry ice cream base, so your color will be around a light pinkish cream. Bright pink strawberry ice cream is simply an indicator of dyes, and with the work you're putting into this strawberry ice cream recipe, that is simply not necessary or appetizing. Now you're going to add your last couple of flavor elements to your base. Add your salt first, and once your base is cooled below 99 degrees Fahrenheit, add your vanilla as well. Vanilla gives your strawberry ice cream base an added flavor boost that gives a mind-blowing finished taste that many ice cream makers skip. Now it's time to begin bringing down the temperature of your mixed base. We're going to create what's called an ice bath. Simply find a bowl or bucket roughly twice the size of the bowl containing your ice cream base and fill it halfway with ice. Pour in about half as much cold water as you have ice and then submerge your ice cream base bowl into the ice bath. Our goal is to bring the base temperature down to at least 40 degrees as quickly as possible. It is between 140 down to 40 degrees where bacteria like to reform. So the more quickly we can get to that temperature, the less danger there is of bacteria formation. Now it is time to make our strawberry balsamic syrup for the swirl. Start with a sauce pot filled with your strawberries and a dash of water to stop them from sticking or burning. Next, add your sugar evenly over the top and heat until it melts. This is also the point where you will add your lemon juice and salt for brightness, as well as your corn syrup to help bind everything into a cohesive syrup texture after it has been cooked. Finally, you are going to add a healthy amount of balsamic vinegar to give this ice cream its signature flavor. The balsamic complements the sweet strawberry flavor perfectly, giving your ice cream a tart kick that goes perfectly with your rich, sweet cream strawberry ice cream base. Be sure to let this reduce down on your stovetop until it gets to a thin syrup consistency. Don't worry, it will thicken up as it cools overnight before layering into your finished, churned strawberry ice cream. Do not try to reduce it down to a thick syrup yet, or you will end up with a strawberry balsamic gel jelly that is too thick for ribboning into the final mix after refrigeration. After your mix has cooled a bit, you can now take your immersion blender straight into your sauce pot if it is sturdy enough. You will blend it down to a nice smooth consistency, leaving maybe a little strawberry lump here or there for an authentic taste and texture. We personally do not strain out the seeds because to us, when your swirl is too smooth and pure, it tends to seem artificial and loses the homemade element that makes this strawberry balsamic ice cream so unique and special. You've now allowed both your strawberry ice cream base and your strawberry balsamic reduction to cool overnight. The flavors have had a chance to bloom and reach their maximum potential, and it's now time to churn, layer, and pack your ice cream. Go ahead and power up your ice cream machine. Higher-end machines like this one will have a convenient pre-cool function that allows you to chill the bowl to below zero temps prior to churning, and also allows you to do batch after batch instead of having to chill the bowl for hours between batches. Go ahead and pour your strawberry ice cream base into the machine and churn per your manufacturer's instructions. Once this is complete, it will be about the consistency of a delicious milkshake that is maybe a bit too thick to get through a straw. At this point, you are ready to pack into your serving containers and layer with the strawberry balsamic swirl. Now we can pack our ice cream into serving containers as well as swirl the strawberry balsamic syrup into layers in the ice cream. The process is pretty self-explanatory, just make sure not to over stir as you want to make sure the swirls remain thick and pure and not diluted into your ice cream layers. You can see that hand packing ice cream is what separates companies like Heavy Metal Ice Cream from chains that do this with machines. The attention to detail makes for an outstanding finished product guaranteed to be the best strawberry ice cream recipe you've ever tried. We recommend at this point putting the ice cream back into the freezer for a minimum of six hours for perfect strawberry ice cream consistency. But if you simply can't wait, you can enjoy it immediately for a more soft serve type of consistency. Ah, no, my eyebrows, they're gonna come off. Oh I'm goodness. not gonna touch your caterpillars. I don't like caterpillars. Okay, come on. A butterfly landed on me Honey, today. it's recording. I almost cried. Ready? We hope you decided to try this strawberry ice cream recipe, and if you did, let us know how it went in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the thumbs up button to like our videos. Don't forget to ring it, boy. And don't forget <laughs> to ring the bell next to the no- oh.
And don't forget to ring the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all of our future videos. Thanks for checking out Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Ice, Ice Cream. Cream. Mommy. Shark. Dun, 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 dun. All right, stop it. Ready? Today we're going to show oh, you. Oh, I'm squirting. <laughs> You're a jerk.